I know a lot of you have asked to hear the story about my blue and gold macaw Cheyenne, so I'm going to share it with you today, and then the second half of this video will be showing you how to groom a macaw. If you don't want to hear her story, just skip to this time to go to the grooming portion of this video. But anyway, I got Cheyenne from someone who was trying to breed parrots. She didn't realize that you can't just place two birds in a small cage and expect them to breed, so she was not a very successful breeder. But Cheyenne was bought as part of a proven pair, which means that her and her mate had apparently successfully hatched and raised chicks of their own. Her mate had sadly died after this woman bought them, and then Cheyenne was considered a spare. So I bought her from this lady, and usually breeder birds are not very friendly because they've bonded with another bird, so they could care less about people and humans. But Cheyenne was amazing. She was easy to bond with, and she quickly became part of our family, and she was actually the ring bearer at our wedding. We had our colors match her, the blue and the yellow, and the whole nine yards. Cheyenne is 19 years old. Man, that means I've had her for 10 years, actually. I've had her for a long time, which is why she's just part of the family now. However, as you may already know, macaws live a very long time. They can live anywhere from 50 to 75 plus years, depending on how they are raised and how their diet is and so on and so forth. And the reason why her feathers are plucked here and on her back and under, under her wings, she's a little plucked chicken. But the reason for that isn't because she's abused, it's because she was stressed out to extreme limits at her previous home. She was not interested in breeding and when I visited her, even before her mate had died, uh, she was a plucker back then too, and usually plucking is a sign of boredom with parrots. They just don't have enough stimula stimulation in their environment, so they move towards plucking their own feathers out. And then that just becomes a really bad habit, just like biting your nails is. But despite her lack of feathers, she's still beautiful in my eyes. So even though Cheyenne is in a good environment now, she still plucks her feathers because of that bad habit. She has been tested for health concerns, and it's not a health issue that she's plucking, it's just behavioral. Now what she's doing is she is preening me. Apparently I am dirty, so she's cleaning my feathers. To me, it's a bonding thing that birds will do to one another when they're closely bonded. Thank you, you're such a good girl. And if you ever see her eyes pin, that means she's really excited. There's certain words that she responds to, like, are you a pretty girl? Yeah, you like being called a pretty girl, don't you? Yes, you do. Can you go dancing? Go dancing. Do, do, go dancing. Yeah, she doesn't do much on command. But, but, oh yeah, there you go. You dance when you want to, apparently. <laughs> Macaws are not known for their talking ability like African Greys and Amazons are. Cheyenne can only say hi, hello, and step up. And she only talks when she is alone and she thinks nobody is listening to her. Her new thing is putting her head down my shirt. What are you doing? What is this accomplishing? Birds are weird. Oh, as you can see, she and I are very bonded. She's very trusting. We trust each other completely. Like, she could bite me if she wanted, but I know she won't because of the relationship that we have together. So let me show you the second half of this video where I groom her claws and her beak. This video was made about a year ago, so I apologize. The quality isn't very good, but you might still find it entertaining. Grooming your parrot is easy. All you have to do is roll them onto their back, set them in your lap, Take your Dremel, and one by one, do their nails. Good luck. Now, as you can see, Cheyenne's beak is a bit of a scissor beak, so we have to even that out too. That's also easy. All you do is open up your beak and then go for it. And there you have it! Super easy. Okay, so in all seriousness, don't do that. 
If you're not sure how to groom your bird, bring them to a vet or an experienced bird groomer and don't attempt it on your own. Thanks for watching. Evan Allman, turn around. Turn around. Come on. Ugh. Thanks for hitting me in the face. All right, so the almond is in this hand. Okay, ready? Which hand is it in? Nope, not that one. There it is. Good girl. Can you go dancing? Go dancing. Good girl.